It's one of the most ambitious endeavors in human history. If you're not changing the paradigm, um, you just go along with the crowd. And the dream of an inventor, surgeon, and philanthropist with a history of overcoming the odds. Uh, you know, the status quo is never acceptable. You know, it's hard to believe, but we never had TV. <laughs> the son of Chinese immigrants, Patrick Soon Shung, grew up as an unfortunate statistic. We couldn't vote, couldn't own property. Uh, we had sort of strange uh, places where we could go, couldn't go. One of the segregated millions in poverty, cut off from the modern world, the notorious status quo of apartheid South Africa. Well, the only way we, we survived then is my parents ran a shop, uh, you know, a little grocery store. There on a magazine rack, news of distant places. You, know, you, you had newspapers, you know, but this America's was some other strange world out there. At just 16, Soon Chiang completed high school. My dreams and aspirations truly was to be an NBA player. At 23, he graduated from medical school at the University of Witzwatersrand. And in 1995, Sun Chung had an idea for a radical new cancer treatment using small malleable nanoparticles as drug delivery devices. But at the time, the healthcare industry didn't believe nanoparticles could be manufactured. That's when I went to what you call business. <laughs> and that was Abraxas. The drug, Abraxane, is now used as a treatment for several of the most deadly forms of cancer. On his quest to cure disease, Soon Chung founded some of the most successful biotechnology companies in the world, makers of drugs he designed, drugs that help millions. I've always said the largest inhibitor of progress is dogma. What's worse than dogma is arrogance of dogma. <laughs> so I'm, I love it when you say you can't do it. I absolutely love it because that means you don't know. You don't understand. By the mid-2000s, Soon Chung had closed several multi-billion dollar deals for his biotech firms. And the NBA hopeful from apartheid South Africa is now part owner of the Lakers. Today, Soon Chung is spearheading one of the biggest initiatives in medicine. Cancer Moonshot is a broad coalition of major biotech, pharmaceutical, and insurance companies aligned to produce revolutionary new cures for cancer by 2020. And it's not chemotherapy. I don't mean to tell you this, but standing there, you're producing thousands of cancer cells now, and that your human body is actually killing them as a natural mechanism of life. The plan is to create personalized medicines, like vaccines, that train the immune system to recognize cancer cells. But the process relies on a doctor's ability to quickly learn the genetic profile of a patient's tumor. So at Natworks, the biotech company he founded in 2007, Soon Shang built a mission control center, a supercomputer connected to a high-speed data pipeline capable of quickly sequencing tumors and providing health professionals rapid access to everything needed to make these new drugs. Nobody can do this other than America. I think that's the beauty of this country. Um, it's a country that where you're allowed to dream, you're allowed to fulfill your dreams, and it's probably one of the most generous people. Through the Chan Soon Chung Family Foundation, Dr. Soon Chung and his wife Michelle have given hundreds of millions to improve local healthcare facilities and provide quality healthcare access to underserved Los Angeles communities. But what makes Patrick Soon Chung's story truly remarkable? is not simply that one doctor has contributed so profoundly to medicine, but that all of his accomplishments were guided by an insatiable curiosity. The joy of discovery. There is no better moment, truly, um, in time, when in that particular moment in time, you know that you want to maybe a handful of people that know that particular piece of knowledge that nobody else knows. <laughs> um, and that, that instant or moment is the high that every scientist goes for and you get addicted because you want the next high. I think that's what science to me is all about.